Hello and welcome everybody to Road to Rank 1, a series where I try to hit rank 1 on the Mythic Arena ladder. And this time around, it's MKM Limited, Murders at Karlov Manor. We're currently sitting at Platinum 1. I managed to go 7 and 2 in a recent stream, so got that a little bit of a boost. So now we're 7 and 2, getting a good sense of the format at this point. I think I'm about 10 drafts in, so I think... My opinions might have a little more weight. I've, I I looked back at some of the uh, the 17 lands data on some of the cards that I thought were decent. And wow, I was really off on a lot of things. But one thing that I know for sure is good is Prof's Eidetic Memory. I've lost to this card a bunch. And I'm really, really excited to open this card. It's just a great card, especially in the blue-red deck where you can make a lot of clues. But a lot of decks are able to generate clues. And when you do, this card basically reads, anytime you draw a card, you put a plus one, plus one counter on a creature. And it replaces itself, which makes this card excellent. So if you have a creature in play and you play this, basically it says put a plus one, plus one counter and draw a card. And then anytime you draw extra cards, you can just continue putting plus one, plus one counters on things. Outside of that, everything else is pretty underwhelming. There's not on my watch, which is an okay removal spell. Fester Leech and Slice from the Shadows and Gadget Technician are also okay. But I really want to draft around Prof's Eidetic Memory. And moving on to this pack, we have a pack with Extract the Confession, which is a decent removal spell, and Vengeful Tracker as I think, decent options. Typically, when you're drafting Prof's Eidetic Memory, I think you want to be blue-red. But this is just a two-drop. But it's a two-drop with some upside. I think I'm going to take that over Extract the Confession, just because this is a two-mana detective that I'm reasonably happy playing in most of my decks. So I'll go ahead and take the, the tracker here. And as much as I love um, Prof's Eidetic Memory, of course... Blue might not be open, and if blue's not open, then we definitely want to go into a different direction if possible. Moving on to this pack, none of the uncommons really excite me that much. Curious Cadaver's okay, but the format's pretty fast, and I think I'd rather have one of these commons. So I think one of the best commons in the set is actually Inside Source, so that's something that we could take, and I think I'm going to take that over Cold Case Cracker and Slice from the Shadows. Now, Cold Case Cracker is on color, but I think Inside Source is enough better that I want to take this because it's just a premium three mana card in this format where everybody's playing three mana two twos and you get a three mana one one that makes a two two that also has upside. So I will take inside source here over cold, cold case cracker and uh, see kind of where this goes. We could be blue white, blue red, red white, any of those co color combinations is fine. Taking a look at this pack, there is a sample collector which I really do want to draft around, but I don't want, I'm not interested in four different colors of picks for the first three picks. So for the first four picks, rather. So I think I'm debating between Case of the Gateway Express, which I've seen be pretty good, or maybe Projector Inspector. And I've seen and I've noticed that this card has been doing really well. And this is a fourth pick, Case of the G Gateway Express. So I believe I'm going to take this over Project Projector Inspector and Museum Night Watch. And now with the Inside Source and the Case of the Gateway Express, uh, this is looking pretty good. Uh, white, I think, is base is the best color in the set. It's kind of where you want to be. And the fact that we're getting Inside Source and the case here. Uh, and now a Market Watch Phantom is a really great sign. Premium two mana creatures are really hard to come by. Market, Market Watch Phantom is one of them. You're going to have a ton of morphs. This is going to basically have flying most of the time. And it's a detective. It's a great, great addition here. Another card here that's pretty good and something that I would like if I'm blue-white, because I don't see a ton of red, is Out Cold. This is a phenomenal card, a great way to finish off opponents. And the fact that it's uncounterable means that you can target ward creatures, and then you also draw a card off of this. So this card is premium, premium, but still not going to take it over a two-mana card that I will happily play in my deck. Moving on to this pack, we have a bunch of black cards. Jaded Analyst is not exactly the type of card that I want to be playing, but the question is, do I want to take a black card here instead? Hmm... Yeah, I think I'm going to go with the Fester Leech out of this pack. Just because that was a pack with all black cards. And I think the Fester Leech maybe has the most upside out of everything there. But I'm not super happy with that. Moving on to this pack, we have a pretty weak pack. There's a Hotshot Investigators or a Thinking Cap. Now, if we want it to be blue, I suppose we can take an Investigators. I'm not a big fan of the card. It's a little bit slow. I wonder if I want to take Thinking Cap instead. I'll, I'll take an Investigator, sure. But 
It, it Look, if you need an expensive thing, it's something that you can play in your deck, but not something you're super interested in this format. And here I see an out cold over basically nothing. Red seems to be really cut and not like we had a great red card to begin with. Um, so I'm going to take uh, out cold here out of this pack. The other consideration here would be something like a vengeful creeper, but out cold is a much, much better card. Now I'll take a Griff Knot Tracker. There's, that's another Fester Leech, but I think I'm just happy taking a white card that I know is going to end up in my deck. And now it looks like we're heading towards a blue-white deck. We'll see if it ends up being a detective deck. I'm not necessarily going to be forcing detectives, but most of the blue-white cards are detectives anyways. So happy enough there. Wow, there's a lot of Extract the Confessions. Red didn't seem open. I don't know if this chase, this late chase is on is a sign that red is open. So I think black feels more open than red. So I'll take Extract the Confession in case somehow we end up in a black-white deck. Then now I'll take a Sanitation Automaton, something that you can play if you need more two drops. You always want plenty of two drops in this format. But it's still looking like it's it's still looking more likely that we're going to be blue white over red white here. Here's another Hotshot Investigators. I mean, look, an effect like this long time ago would be awesome. In modern magic, not really what you want to be doing necessarily. So hopefully we don't have to play that card. Now we're looking at a pack with a bunch of underwhelming uncommons. There's meddling youths, which is a red white card. But if I wanted to take a if I wanted to take a red card, I would much rather take a shock out of this pack. There's not a there's not really a great white card that I want or a blue card out of this pack. Murder is just okay. So this is interesting. I mean, I do have a vengeful tracker but red seemed pretty cut, so I think I want to take a blue or a white card. I know I'm going to get red in this pack, but I don't think that's how you should be drafting. I'm just going to take an on-the-job here. It's always great to have at least one copy of this card in your deck, so we'll just take one. It, I hate to first pick one. It doesn't feel good, but I think it's probably the best card for our deck, so I'm just going to go ahead and take it here. And wow, another pretty weak pack. For us, Deadly Complication and Crawl Whipcracker are both great cards, but not something that I really want. For us, there's a Gadget Technician that I can play as a Disguise card, but I don't really like that very much. There's an Escape Tunnel that I can take if I want to Splash, potentially. I mean, I guess I'm going to take that over... I don't feel like I should be taking Reasonable Doubt this early. And Call a Surprise Witness also feels interesting... But I'll just take the first escape tunnel for mana fixing. This looks like it can be a pretty messy draft. <laughs> so we'll take the escape tunnel and see kind of how things, uh, how things play out. All right. Not seeing white again. No white cards here. There's a slice from the shadows and there's a Judith Carnage Connoisseur. This card can be really good. You do need a good number of spells. Slice from the shadows is more splashable. But if I want to go black-white, and I have this escape tunnel, maybe it's worth it to just take the Judith here? Do I have enough spells? Not really. I guess I'll, I'll just take a slice from the shadows here, and if I end up black-white or something, we can figure something out here. This pack is going horribly, by the way. Absolutely horribly. I, I guess... I mean, I, didn't, I felt like we didn't even pass any white cards. But here, I'm really happy to pick up Novice Inspector. This is... Base, probably the best common in the set. It's weird because it looks a little unassuming, but this card just does everything you want in most archetypes. It's an ar it's a detective, and it gives you a clue token. It just gives you a lot of value for one mana. So really, really happy with Novice Inspector there. Wow, that's a late ill-timed explosion, but not really something that we, we want to be doing here. Um, I, think, I guess I just go ahead and take a Granite Witness and just lock myself into a blue-white deck here. And uh, hope we just end up with enough playables. All right, so let's move all these cards away. And let's settle in into a blue-white deck. Wow, that is a late Gleaming Gear Drake. Oh, man. Look at all these red cards. It makes sense because red was cut off in the first pack. But Gleaming Gear Drake is one of my favorite uncommons in the set. It's, it's a great two-drop. It, it, it's a two-mana, and it grows... It's a huge, it can become a huge flyer. It's just everything that I want. Here it's between um, Griffnot Tracker 
or has the Vigilante. I actually think I'm going to take the Vigilante here. This card's kind of overperformed for me. I like, I don't mind having one copy of this card in most of my aggressive decks. So let's take the Vigilante here over a second Grift Knot Tracker. Because we already have one and we have a Granite Witness. So just kind of vary the types of threats and cards that we have. And I think the Vigilante is decent there. This pack has a form familiar, which I think is quite bad. It's just a lot. Of, the thing is, paying this kind of mana to get that kind of effect just seems so weak. I mean, I'll play it just because it's a three drop for my deck and I don't really want to splash meddling youths. But I, I, do, I do not think the card is strong and I would like to avoid playing it if possible. Here I have the choice between Grift Knot Trick Tracker and Sudden Setback. We're kind of lacking in tricks. So I'll take a Sudden Setback here. And I want to play with it a little more just to really figure out how good it is. All the meddling youths are going super late. Bubble Smuggler is a filler card, but I mean, it's okay. Look, you can play it turn two. Right? You can play it turn two, and then you can also play it as a morph. In the late game, it can become something big. I think I prefer that over any of these cards here. Now we're going to take Call a Surprise Witness out of this pack. Let's bring these Hotshot Investigators back in. I'm probably going to play one of those. And look at all these red herrings. Okay. So where are we at right now? We have a Novice Inspector. Do we have a lot of ways to draw cards off the Eidetic Memory? One card that works really well with the Eidetic uh, Memory is the Projector Inspector. So that's one card that we're really going to be on the lookout for. Wow. These are both playable cards that are that are last pick. But we have some speculative cards, but this deck still looks okay to me for now. It doesn't look over the top powerful or anything along those lines. Let's kind of set it up this way. But we have a decent curve. We have... But we, but we could we could certainly use a few more powerful cards, if you will. And now we have, oh wow, this is quite a pack. We have War Leader's Call, which is incredible. I don't know that it's worth splashing, but it's a glorious anthem effect that deals damage every time a creature comes into play under your control. There's Case of the Gateway Express, Reckless Detective I love, but we're not red. And then there's also Crime Stopper Sprite. I think we're very heavy on creatures and I need some interaction. So I think I want to take the case of the Gateway Express over the Crime Stopper Sprite, although I do like Crime Stopper Sprite. Ooh, the double Sumala Sentry Pack. Also, Sharp-Eyed Rookie. This is one of my favorite new rares. It's a two mana 2-2 two -two that grows whenever you play a bigger creature and you get to investigate. This card is awesome. The sentries are awesome. Long Goodbye, also awesome, but no, novice Inspector, just as good. Very, very happy picking up Novice Inspector. That's Novice Inspector number two. This is, it's kind of weird, but I, this is basically the mythic common of the set. It's, it's not Galvanized, it's not Shock, it's Novice Inspector. So do I take Projector Inspector here because of prof, Prof's eidetic memory? Or do I take Inside Source, which is just a better card? Hmm. I kind of want to combo off. I'm not going to lie. I, I know Inside Source is better. And there's also a Vein Ripper, which is absolutely absurd, by the way. But I want to... I think they're both good three drops. It's always good to have one copy of this card in your deck to kind of go through your deck. I do have Double Case of the Gateway Express. Ah. This, this one could have been a mistake, but look, I really wanted to make Prof's Eidetic Memory work. And by having Projector Inspector in your deck, it just turns everything else. It just turns this on every single turn, basically. You just play a detective, boom, you get to loot, and then you get to put another plus one, plus one counter on something. Here, I'm going to take Neighborhood Guardian. This is a premium, premium two drop. I know it's not a detective, but very, very happy to play that in my deck. And this is kind of where, where we're at right now. We have a nice mix of threats, a decent curve. Pretty pr liking, liking where we're at right now. Really, really liking where we're at. Moving on here, Kylox is not something that we want to play. There is a case file auditor, and let's do an enchantment check. We have double case of the Gateway Express and a prof's eidetic memory. So with three targets and it being a detective for... I'm sure other relevant things like Projector Inspector. I'm going to take it here. I'm going to take it here. 
I would like to get one more enchantment because I think once you get four, when you look at the top six, I mean, you're, you're over 50% to find something. So hopefully we can get something here. This pack has... I don't think this card is very good. Officious in, uh, Interrogation. Agency Outfitter is just far too expensive for a pretty low value effect. I don't even have a Magnifying Glass or a Thinking Cap. I think I'm just going to take a Crocodile as a morph. It's a detective late, late in the game. So it's always okay. It's always decent to have at least one or two big things that you can morph. Here we'll take a Griffnot Tracker. Just another filler card. But let me know what you think about that Projector Inspector pick. I thought it, I thought it was kind of close. Nothing out of this pack. I mean, I don't think we're playing double. I don't think we're, we're playing two of these either. But I guess we're currently on 23 playables, so beggars can't be choosers. So right now we're playing both for lack of better options. Put a... Th oh, do I want due diligence over thinking cap because I have the case file auditor? I think they're close anyways. So yeah, let's take due diligence here. That's a late Sumala Sentry, but I guess there were two in the pack. I wonder if the green-white player is just going to get both. That would be awesome for them. A little heavy on fours. Our curve, we, we have a, a, little, a little too much... Ooh, really happy that Museum Nightwatch tabled. This is an awesome, awesome creature. Very happy about that. Fey Flight. When, he, when it enters the battlefield, Enchanted Creature gets Hexproof and Enchanted Creature gets plus one. Hey! That seems like a really solid combat trick to play. Actually, it's way better than due diligence. So now that's our fourth enchantment. So really happy about that. We just got a combat trick that also gives my creatures evasion. Let's take a look at the colors. Uh, it might be a 9-7 situation because we have double novice inspector. But let's take a look at our creatures. We have two. I think I'm going to play the automaton just for curve purposes. 2, 6, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Okay, I think I can cut one of the investigators. I just don't want to have too many six drops in my deck. And then those are my threes. And then let's take a look at our spells. I do like all of them. Double Case of the Gateway Express. Call a Surprise Witness. We have... I guess we don't have a ton of things to get back with this. So maybe we can cut this. Right? There's no... I can get the Inspector, the Auditor, Inside Source... Getting these back don't seem that great. I mean, I could get back a Novice Inspector and give it flying. But I do like Faith Flight. I do like Didactic Memory. I Out Cold on the Job are both great. I don't want to cut that many any more creatures. Because K Gate Case of the Gateway Express really wants you to play a lot of creatures. So I really want to play as many cheap things as possible. And the fact that I had two might mean that I should have probably taken the Inside Source. But here we are. Uh, so I think it's going to be call a surprise witness or sudden setback as a card that I'm cutting here. And because we're really lacking in removal and interaction, we have two cases and that's basically it. I'll go with uh, sudden setback here and I just want to play with a little more. This format might be a little too fast for this, but I, I do want to try it. Being able to keep up out cold or also have sudden setback up seems pretty nice, but we will see how it plays out. Okay, round one, January in. Oh, do I keep this? I mean, I just need a land to play two disguise cards. All right, we'll keep it. It needs a land. I don't even necessarily need island. If I just draw a land, we can still keep up on the play. That's probably the worst possible draw, sudden setback. I guess we could have drawn the six drop. Insidious Roots, okay, we have time. Woo, there we go, all right. We drew Projector Inspector. That's awesome. Um, what do I want to play first? I'm going to play the... Whew. So the Projector Inspector wants me to have a bunch of detectives, and the Museum Nightwatch is not a detective. So I'll play the non-detective first, so that I can try to sequence it where I go Prof's Eidetic Memory next turn. Yeah, let's do this. Draw a card. No land. Aye. Okay, well, we got a counter at least. 
And next turn, we get to play the Inspector. So we're going to be able to churn through our deck, but really would have liked to find a land there. Okay. We try to get, we try to go deep with Insidious Roots. We were not successful. Maybe our opponent can get there instead of us. Hmm. What are you, you're just keeping up four mana? Well, I do want to play this pre-combat because the trigger comes, tr the trigger happens on my combat step. So let's go ahead and play the projector inspector. Oh, I guess they're killing the inspector. Okay. I mean, we still get a trigger. They probably should have waited till I targeted, but I guess I was probably going to target the, the face down card. All right. So what do we want to discard here? I like the fact that the case auditor can get us some value. And I don't want to pitch a land. I mean, it's probably the sudden setback. All right. I mean, look at this. I, it's, I just, it replaced itself and I put two plus one plus one counters on something. So we have a four, four ward two creature. That's, and they, they're playing... Okay, so this is the classic trap. They're just playing too many cards that don't affect the board. And in a format that really... It, playing to the board is really, really important. Um, I just don't think you can play too many cards like this in your deck in general. Unless you have some, some catch-up cards or sweepers of that... Uh, stuff of that nature. Um, what do I want to play here? The Vigilante is okay. I mean, it, the Vigilante is the biggest creature I can play. Um, but I can't pump anything, so it feels kind of like a waste almost. But maybe it's still fine, just because it's, it's the best use of my mana this turn. Yeah, all right, I'll play it. And the nice thing about this is I have the Granite Witness I can play next turn. And by playing the Granite Witness, I can play it face down, attack, give it a counter, and then I can tap. If they play a big creature here, like just pay six mana, play a big creature, I can certainly tap it down with the Witness. I guess the downside of playing a large creature that's not face down is, of course, it can get murdered. Although, they could have murdered something anyways here. All right, is it time for them to collect evidence? If they collect evidence, they make a plan and drain me for one. Okay, I'll lose three life. Okay, so we drew land number six. My morph is going to attack. It's going to eat something for free here. I think, I mean, I probably just want to go double morph this turn. So let's just go ahead and attack. It's going to eat a plant. Oh, it's going to eat a morph. Okay. Do they need this for mana? Huh. Oh, because they can um, collect evidence again. Interesting. Let's play this face down. I mean, let's just still play these two, two morphs. Let's play two face down cards. Our creatures are really hard to kill. They have the polygraph orb. They're gonna make a a two three plant, and then a and then a, 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 a what? They're gonna have a one two plant and a two three plant, but that's not really gonna matter. I can kill the two three plant with case of the gateway express, and then flip it or solve it rather, because I'll be attacking with three creatures. Let's lose three life. I don't think they're in a position to attack us here, which is why I'm losing three life. If they attack me, I can kill one of the creatures and also tap the other one. Oh, look at them. Okay. Okay, things just got a lot more interesting. Things got a lot more interesting. 
So I have six mana. I can play Case File Auditor. Oh no, that was great. So I can play Case File Auditor and still cast Case of the Gateway Express to kill the 3-4. We missed on that. We have four creatures in play. Okay, so we got that. Now we can tap to 2-3. And then they have pretty bad block. I guess they can still... We, we can tap the 2-3 and attack with this and this. I don't know that I want to attack with this. Unless I want to flip the case of the Gateway Express and be happy trading one of my morphs for one of these smaller creatures. Now, is that worth it to flip this? I don't know that it is. They don't have any creatures in the graveyard, right? Hmm. Well, I certainly want to turn this face up. Actually, I want to tap down the Rubble Belt Maverick because they don't have any creatures in the graveyard. And then let's attack with these two. All right. Because um, the, to, for these cards to trigger, they need to have a creature in the yard. And I don't want the Rubble Belt Maverick to trade. And then they can activate this to drain me and then make a, make a plant here. So this is a lot closer than I thought it was going to be. So good on our opponent for really the polygraph. I mean, this is a nice combination of cards to keep them alive. Oh, and there's oh, the Glint Weaver. Oh, man. Uh-oh. That one's going to be tough, folks. Oh! <laughs> Is that enough? Oh, my gosh. What a draw. Out cold. Wow. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow. What a draw. Oh, I can't I can't flip it up, sadly. All right. That was insane. I could have dealt one more damage. Oh. <laughs> I didn't even realize the second I didn't realize the second part of this card. I thought it just found me a thing. I thought it found me an enchantment. I didn't know when you solve a case it flips again. Oh, that's great. Now we have Fae Flight. Outcold, once again, saving the day. Thank you, Outcold. Thank you so much. They know about the Fae Flight, too, and they're at two life. Vane Ripper. Okay. Don't think that matters. We have all lethal attackers, unless there's something I'm missing here. So this unmorphs into a 3-2. Okay, they're dead. Yeah, Vein Ripper is awesome. But you know what else is awesome? Outcold. Outcold is also awesome. What a draw. Whew. All right, that's a good start. A little fortuitous draw there. Okay, plat one. We have a shot. I feel like we have a really good shot in this draft. I feel like we have a really good shot in this draft to go to get to Diamond. Really good shot. So we have the eidetic memory here. Let's go ahead and fetch a planes. Pro I mean, just gonna run it out. We don't have anything else to play, so. Just smooth out our draws. Next turn, we get to play the Inspector. It'll be a 4-3. And hopefully that can find us another detective to just keep uh, the eidetic memory going. They're going to play a face-down creature here, most likely. 
Oh, that is a detective. Let's take some action and discard. I think the automaton. I have multiple things to do that are more impactful over the next few turns. So I'd rather just have the lands, I think. Question here is just whether or not I block with the projector inspector. They can have... Okay, well, never mind. Not a question. All right, so they were on the play. They're the aggressors. This is, is this a dog walker? No, it's Museum Night Watch. Okay. Well, we're going to play our own Museum Night Watch. It's just an excellent way to trade with one of these creatures. I get a 2-2, and then we actually drew a really good card because after the Museum Night Watch trades with one of these creatures, I'll trade with the tracker just because they're going to still have a big board if I trade with the Night Watch. I can put a counter on the 2-2 here. But they did play Flyer. So this is just a lot of aggression. And it's going to be pretty difficult to fight through. I think I still just want to play the Vigilante here. Put a counter on my 3-3. And do I attack? You know what? This is? It's one of those situations here where I'm like, if you have a removal spell here then I'm just in trouble anyways. If, you're have a, if you have a combat trick, it's also pretty bad for me, so I'm just going to attack, try to get in for damage, and hope you don't have anything. And they don't. All right. Next turn, I can play Case File Auditor and try to find an enchantment. Or I can play... If I draw a land, Hotshot Investigators would go a really long way to helping me kind of come back. Did not find that. I mean, I can also play a tracker. They're, them keeping up four mana, though, is a little suspect, I will say. Yeah, I'm going to play the case file auditor. See if I can find the uh, two mana enchantment that kills something. Nope. That is a Fae Flight. I'll attack with the Vigilante and then pump the auditor. And and then I will make an attempt to put Fey Flight on my auditor, and we'll have a 3-5 flying hexproof creature. That's not bad. All right, you kept up four mana. What do you have? Nothing. All right, so they could have on the job. It's one of the cards they could have. That'll turn this into a 5-3. If they had Galvanize, would they have used it on my 3-3? Three, three? It seems really tempting to do so. There's not a lot of removal spells that can kill the Auditor from this spot, though. But if I put Faith Flight on the Auditor, I won't be able to add an extra counter on the Vigilante. So they can't really attack. Now, my question is, can I start getting in? Do I want to just... Because I just kind of want to be using my mana every turn, I feel. Does this have Vigilance? No. Let's see. 4-4 four, four doesn't need to be bigger. Unless I want to attack for 5 in the air. This is a tough this is a tough one here. If I draw a land, what do I do next turn? I'll just I'll keep it. I'll keep it up. It's just so hard for them to do anything uh, from this spot. Okay, so that's great cuz now I can kill the flyer. So let's kill the tracker. 
Am I interested in solving a case? Probably not this... Well... The thing is, they can just take all the damage, and then that puts me in a very precarious situation. So let's not do that. I can just attack with the Vigilante. That's the safest thing to do and put a counter on the Auditor. Or I can play Vigilante and Auditor and play a face down card. Yeah, that's probably fine. Yeah, that's fine. Because this, this makes a 3-6, so this block doesn't even work. Okay. Sure. Oh, this could be a dog walker, I guess. All right, so they get a detail. So things are looking very, very good for us now. All they have is a 2 2. They're at 10, and we've cleared their entire board. They might have a removal spell here, and they're holding it because they know we have the Fae Flight. Okay. But. We have four cards to their two, and my hand is pretty good. Hotshot, Investigators, Griffnot Tracker, and Fae Flight. Investigators bounces creatures, so I can't bounce the eidetic memory. Oh, Torch the Witness is a phenomenal remove. Wait, but they should have done it for one more. They should have done it for one more. I don't know why they didn't. You get to investigate that way. Huh. Do I trade here? Feels like they have a combat trick because they didn't torch for one more. Yeah, let's trade. I'm at seven. I just want to stay at a healthy life total. Let's go ahead and play the tracker. Let's exile some. I want to exile the most expensive cards to um, make sure that it's harder for them to collect evidence. It's a face down card. Okay. Oh, that was excellent. So now we can go Neighborhood Guardian. Oh yeah, that was incredible. That puts two creatures into play. So now I can give this plus two, plus two. So now my Griffnot Tracker gets to attack in for five, and I have three blockers too. Get in there. All right, so they're at five. We have on the job, Fae Flight in hand, and in Hotshot. I mean, on the job with four creatures in play to their one should get it done. And yep, there we go. Two and oh. Two and oh. Five more to go. Oh, one more pip. One more pip for Diamond. We're getting there. Started at Bronze 4. We've climbed our way up to Platinum, getting a better sense for this format, supposedly. Now we're starting to, to battle uh, Diamond opposition. Once we get to Mythic, though, that's when the fireworks will begin. Probably just running out Bubble Smuggler here on turn two for curve reason. Oh. No, I still just want to run this out. I, I still want to run this out over the Inspector. In certain cases, I would have run out the Inspector, but because I have Projector Inspector, first, I want to deal more damage. And secondly, I have this Projector Inspector. We will discard. Uh, sudden setback or Fae flight. We'll discard sudden setback. I, you know what? I think this card probably is just not that good. That's what it feels like to me. It just feels a little too slow. Keeping up four mana is just so much. Case of the Burning Mask is an awesome removal spell. 
although they don't have a great board for it right now. Cryptic Coat, also a great rare. So they have a nice deck here. Novice Inspector, what you got for me? Let's cash this clue in. Do they want to trade this? Oh, they're feeling the heat. They're feeling the heat. All right. Well, our hope now is that they use a removal spell on the Griffnot tracker. Just kill the tracker. Yep, they're going to. Good. They're going to target that, and we're going to give it super flying. All right, but we drew all lands, so that's not good. If they have another removal spell, we're in trouble. I wanted to. I want to try this card. I wonder where it's at its best. Probably like a red white aggro deck. But three mana, because paying three mana to discard a card and draw two cards is not the rate that you want. But if you can empty out your hand quickly, then you can start getting a lot of value. Face down card. All right, we need a big draw here. Okay, well, that, that opens up a world of possibilities. Novice Inspector, what do we have? What do you have for me, Novice Inspector? The enchantment, the idyllic enchantment, maybe? Nope. Okay. Let's go ahead and head and attack for four in the air. And I'm just going to face this up. So that if they kill it, I still get something left over. So they have three cards left in hand. No, they killed our flyer. That was our only hope. And now they're going to be able to flip the case of the burning masks too. If they attack with the face down card. But they also, they also have to be mindful of the fact that they're at five life. If they attack with both creatures and I... Oh no, I just take it. Yeah, of course. If they attack with both, I just take it and attack them back for lethal. Another land here is not going to do it, sadly. No good attack. Out cold would have been so good. Out cold or also the um, plus two, the inspired charge would also be decent. But I think that was like, the, to me, that felt like the big turn for me to draw, really draw something to close the door. And this is where potentially my opponent can turn the corner and where the game starts slipping away. Sack and art. So they can't sack anything. Oh, okay. They solved that. Hotshot Investigators. That's not bad, but what does Bouncing Their Creature do? Do I want to just bounce my own thing? Because I'm not killing them this turn anyways. Uh yeah, let's um I feel like I need to draw out of this, like an out cold or something like that. So let's just do that. Alright, so but they're drawing three cards a turn. So we need to put this game away quickly, if possible. I want multiple draws at an out cold, a way to kill a creature. Perhaps, they're, since they're drawing three cards a turn, maybe I shouldn't have... Well, actually, Red Herring I don't care about. Okay. So let's chump this crooked cro crook here and then block this. Ah, I see. I could have blocked with Museum Nightwatch, I guess. Jeez. 
All the crooks. Okay, that's a big creature. And that's my out cold. Oh man, okay. Okay. Um, I have nine mana, so this is eight mana to flip over. All right, let's play this face down and then we'll pass. Yeah, maybe that was not the best block. Wow, them drawing three cards a turn, that's so many. I just hoped, I, I just need to basically hope that they get really careless here. And for me to just take a ton of damage and then try to get them with this out cold and my crocodile. Yeah, ugh. Okay, dramatic accusation. All right, six, I mean, okay. <sighs> Am I supposed to cast out cold now? Nope, attack me. <laughs> um... Is there any reason why I would need this in play? All right, we'll draw a card. We'll draw a card. We'll cast this. We'll play the eidetic memory. Oh, I don't know if that's enough though. We can play the phantom. Oh, you don't have to discard your hand. They discard that during their upkeep, I see. Play the phantom. I guess I, oh, I just realized I can't really play this. Yeah, I can't really play this because they can shuffle my creature back in. Okay, so I shouldn't have played all these other cards. So I can make, I can go plus two, plus two on a creature. Oh my gosh, this is so close. Uh, I guess we wait. Oh man. Oh man. They didn't shuffle my creature in. Do I just go for it and hope that they mess up? All right, I'm taking it this time. Oh, okay, so they make a Thopter. This is slipping away. They're just drawing too many cards. They're just drawing, oh, Escape Tunnel, do you do anything? I can make the Market Watch Phantom not blockable. They're at five life. This is just going to get chumped, sadly. <sighs> yeah, I don't... Oh, gosh, we're so close. How do you want to block? 
Man, I was really hoping they would do some of the other thing. Okay. Yeah, they just drew too many cards with this case. This is definitely one of those games where I'd like to look back and there's probably a way I could have won. But they have a good deck. Solid deck. Is this, are we dead? Three, six, nine. If they attack with everything, we're dead. Three, six, eight. <laughs> yeah, we just, we can only block these two creatures and we die. GG's opponent. Solid deck. Solid deck. Your cases were too strong. And I think I probably misplayed a little bit there. Okay. What are we? Two and one? Two and one. Now we have to win two in a row to try to hit diamond. Excellent handier though. Turn two neighborhood guardian into anything I want. Anything I want. Our opponent mulligan down. Ooh, but they played the tunnel tipster. Very, very good card. But our hand is is very nice. It's just all creatures, all detectives, but that's kind of what you want when you have a hand with Neighborhood Guardian. It's gonna, is it going to be Novice Inspector plus face down? Oh, Wojak Investigator. Okay. I see. I see. All right. Well, so now I definitely want to put a bunch of creatures into play. So I want to play Inside Source and then Novice Inspector Case of the Gateway Express to kill the Investigator. But this is a fantastic mulligan. But we can we can still get in with the guardian. That's an aggressive chump block. Wow, they blocked with novice inspector that early. Okay, trying to make the game go long. I would really like for them to maybe start cracking clues and tapping out so that the the coast is clear for me to use my case of the gateway express. Perfect. Okay, that's that's exactly what I wanted. Um, so now we play Novice Inspector, and then now I'm just thinking about where I want to pump my creature. Because I'm playing Case of the Gateway Express. Oh, hold on. I can flip the case, actually, this turn. That's, that's incredible. So what I can do is... This would mean that I'm trading one of my tutus with the tipster, but I think it's worth it to flip Case of the Gateway Express. So what I do is I put a counter on Inside Source or I pump inside source, use the case, kill the investigator, then attack with all three, and then I get to flip this. So they'll double, they'll double block here. I'll kill a tipster. My unicorn's down, but now I permanently have plus one, plus zero to my whole team. Oh yeah, I should board this out. Oh, that is a large monster. Island? Nope. Okay, well, we don't really have a great attack through the Warden. So let's get Projector Inspector going and just start looting through our deck. Get rid of this Bubble Smuggler. The Sudden Setback is a way to bounce it. So that's good. And they're not really in a position to attack us. So... If we draw land, we can go face down Granite Witness, face it up, tap the Crowd Control Warden and attack for a bunch. Lots of different ways to play this. This would be a highly aggressive attack. I guess if they play a face down creature, maybe they think it's okay to attack. And they got something. They got something. They got nothing. They got nothing. All right. So now, since they just passed, right back at you, friend. Because 
Casting sudden setback on the crowd control warden end of turn seems awesome, right? I just cast that and then I get to do my thing. So now if they play something big, I can I can still use the sudden setback. So this seems pretty good. Don't care about that. Yeah, really weird. Okay. Well, let's get rid of that. Is there a hexproof spell? I know there's a blue hexproof spell. There is a hexproof spell. Wow. Whoa, whoa. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. Okay, they got me with the airtight alibi. Good beats. Hmm. What, what I really want to do is find, get to enough mana where I can play the Hotshot Investigators. So I'm wondering right now if I should crack a clue or play the Case File Auditor. Or maybe just play the Witness. He doesn't have any flyers, right? Yeah, let's just play the, let's just play the flyer. I know the tapping thing is useful, but I think I just want to have a flyer in play. Do I want on the job or actually on the job seems like it's going to be really good here. So let's discard the auditor, play a land. Didn't want to discard the land because I do want to get up to six for the investigators. But this things are getting a little bit dicey here because now they have a giant 7-7. Seven, seven. I can only take so many hits from that thing before it becomes a big problem. Now, if they attack me with the Warden, I do have just a really good alpha strike with all my creatures with on the job up. And I think they're going to be forced into some pretty tough blocks. Is this the bite spell? They're targeting my creature. It is the bite spell. Maybe I should just double block here. It's a 9-7? Taking 9 is a lot. Now, if they have the plus 3, plus 3, I mean... Hmm. If I knew I was going to draw a land, I would definitely take this. Ugh. All right, let's... Mm. No, we'll take it. All right, that's great. Let's go ahead and... Attack with everything. All right, so we bounced the crowd control warden. Drawing the land there was excellent. Didn't really feel like I needed the loot there. I, didn't, I wasn't sure if they were going to block with the unicorn or not. But I wanted to just try to clear up the board here. And the next turn, be able to get in for a pretty big on the job. Okay. All right. Well, now our on the job is going to be pretty small. And now that's a face down card. Okay. Oh, man. This is brutal. Okay. So this attacks me for. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Four, five, six. Okay. Five, nine, okay. 
Yep, this is fine. There are four life. And then we have Fae Flight that we can put onto our 3-2 uh, detective, especially if they tap out. Yeah, so now we know exactly what they have. And so they're just going to be dead. We just put Flying on the detective and get them down. Let's crack a clue. Flying. Good game. It should be. They had a lot of light, nice little tricks, though. Makeshift binding. I have yet to... I don't know. I have not had a lot of decks with this card. Obviously, it's a premium card. I just feel like I haven't even seen the card. Okay, turning things around. Three and one. Three and one. One more win for Diamond. Actually, it's been so long since I've made a good attempt at, at climbing. Once you hit a new tier, can you fall back down? Not sure. Can you? All right. Playing against Goat. Hey, turn one, Novice Inspector. Always happy for that. Turn two, Market Watch Phantom. We have a Fae Flight as a trick and then an Out Cold. Would like to find some creature to play on turn three, but... Can't complain too much about one drop, two drop on the play. Okay. Turn one, Inspector. Okay. It's looking like this might be a free timeout win. We will see. Our opponent. Okay. Well, a bit anticlimactic, but we'll take it. Diamond. We ranked up, look at that, nice and shiny, diamond four, one more tier to go till we hit mythic. Let's do this. Apologies, that was not the most exciting match, but we hit the four win mark, which is always nice. Try to get number five, try to move up, and now we're facing against even tougher opposition here. We got diamond gamers we have to battle against. This hand is five lands, a bubble smuggler, and a case. I'm going to mulligan that. Does not seem good enough. I'll keep this. We got three lands, a crocodile, out cold on the job, and gate case of the gateway express. I think I want to put either on the job or out cold on the bottom. Let's put on the job on the bottom. Out cold might buy us some time. Let's go ahead and fetch blue because we have a double blue card in our hand. Oh, that's interesting. Do I wait on that just to get extra value? We do have a th turn three play. I think I do. If I needed to hit more land drops, that would be a different story. But we can just go face down creature into the eidetic memory. And put make a 3-3. Three, three. Unless we draw a creature. Hmm. If we draw a creature, I probably just want to spend all my mana and play the creature. So let's just do that. We can still hold off on the memory. We'll get we'll get our value eventually. But now we can use the case of the Gateway Express to also kill something. And also putting a counter on the tracker seems really nice. Wow. That was their turn. Okay. Oh, we can also just flip over the undercover crocodile. I think I'm just going to do that. I don't think there's a one white combat trick that I need to be afraid of. So this is a pretty, a relatively safe attack here, I'm going to say. And I think... Being able to use this opportunity to flip this over to make a clue is nice. It's also very good with Didactic Memory. Now, if they do have a removal, I feel like if they had a removal spell, they probably wanted to use it on the tracker instead of just deal two extra damage. So I don't know that they have a removal spell here. Even if they do, it'll probably take their whole turn. Crocodile is big. It is large. 
And we have a lot of great options next turn. Tol Samir is also big and large and great. It's a good magic card. Good magic card. <laughs> okay. Well, well, well. Well, I definitely want to kill Tulsimir. With this case. The question is, do I want to use Out Cold now or do I want to use it on their turn? I mean, I don't really care about the 5-5, five five, right? Okay, so let's play the Eidetic Memory. I want to make a big flyer. Okay. I do want to kill Tulsimir. Let's crack a clue. Let's make a big flyer. Let's attack for five. We just made a 5-4 flyer. No big deal. You want to chump? Might be in your best interest to chump. I mean, I suppose I could have made a big crocodile as well. I just felt like my life total is not in too much jeopardy. But... The way that they're lining things up, two, th okay, so they might, oh, okay. All right, well, we'll see what they do. If they attack with everything, then we're in trouble. Because then they probably have the, they probably have plus two, plus one, your whole team. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Okay, that won't kill us. If we block here, three, four, five, six, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 12, 13. Okay, they can also just do that. That's unfortunate. I'm definitely taking it here, though. Bite down on crime is good. They're still at seven. Four, five, six, seven. We can still face down Granite Witness, cast out cold, flip this up. Maybe we can tap three things down. So that's pretty good. If they attack with this, it tells me they have plus three, plus three. No blocks. Doggo gets in. Let's play this uh, face down. Let's attack. And we will pass. What do you have for me? Is it another bite spell? Another bite spell would be very bad. Two mana left. And they're also investigating. Okay, so let's just think right now. Let's just think. This resolves. And what if we use the morph to tap down Inspector and get them to attack with one creature? Yeah, I like that. Let's tap this down. If he attacks me with the wolf, he's dead. 
So I'm doing this as a way to try to get my opponent to attack with the wolf. And if he does, out cold gets them. If he doesn't, we can still use out cold to tap these two down, force a chump here, get in for three, draw a card, actually get in for four, puts them on a two turn clock, although they do have a Kellen and they do have another reach creature here. Okay, so they were able to sniff it out here. But it's okay. Let's continue to think about what we want to do here. I, what I really want to do, I'm at nine, right? What I really want to do, now I can out cold these two and eat the vigilante. That also seems pretty good. Or I can eat the wolf even. But I'd rather put a counter on the witness. Okay, so let's do that. So those two creatures are locked down. They have a Kellen and a Crocodile. Really would have liked to find something there. What did you draw? I mean, they have a lot more resources than us, but they're at three. The, the Granite Witness gets blocked by Kellen. And then the V2 Gazi Inspector blocks the Crocodile. Another game where I feel like if I lose, I may have been able to do something. The bite down of the crime was really good. I mean, they have just solid cards in general. Green, white, splashing Kellen looks good. Sudden setback would be fantastic. I mean, there can't be too many options. You literally have Kellen and a more and unknown card. It's like if you can't play both, play the bigger thing. That's it. I guess you have a clue too. I see. Well, we're, we're dead. It was it was just a completely busted spell. All right. Well, not much we could have done about doppelganger. Should I, maybe I should be taking this card higher. That was insane. So they target. They made two copies of two things. Okay, I don't think we were beating that. Well, um. <laughs> okay. Oh, that would have been nice the previous turn. Oh, man. We're just dead here, right? Even if we bounce this. Yeah. Nice deck. Great blue splash, too. The fact that the, you can splash this is really nice. But um, let's see. I block. I block this, bounce this. Yeah, I'm just dead. Definitely a case of me not necessarily reading or exa uh, seeing exactly what that card does. I think I've had opportunities to take that card. I'm going to tell you right now. I'm going to take it a lot higher. It's, it's totally fine as the floor is five mana, copy one thing, make one thing, right? So it's just like a five mana clone anything on the battlefield. So it's a five mana clone. P totally playable card, right? But if you can get it to eight... If you can get it to eight, it's ridiculous. Because if you play it for eight, you put four permanents on the battlefield on your side. That's really hard to beat. Okay. 
we have an eidetic memory. This case file auditor is definitely missing. <laughs> we have three of the four enchantments in our hand. Uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's get some value here. Play the smuggler turn two so that when we play the eidetic memory, we get a little bit of value. Although now it's like they have two mana up, so it seems very likely that they have removal. So I'm going to just attack and then play the auditor and miss. We have literally one enchantment left in our deck. As expected. Here comes a face down card. Hey, but a 2-5 is not bad. 2-5 is not bad. If we draw a land, we can also just use case to kill a morph. Okay. Well, or that, or they just they go this way. I, I would just love to draw a land just to play the tracker, honestly. I needed to be more specific. I wanted not escape tunnel. Not escape tunnel. Let's, let's be smart here. Tap double blue because we have novice inspector. Crack this, get our planes, and yeah, let's make a big, adding an extra power here just goes a really long way, 2-5. The automaton was not necessarily a bad draw, because now we can kill a 3-3, three, three, a 3 toughness creature. If they play the, um, the elephant detective thing, I've, I'm still trying to remember the card names, but you know what I mean, the elephant detective. Okay, it's just a Nervous Gardener. So I can still get in with the Auditor and then um, play the Flyer, which is kind of what I want to do. Do I want to trade here? If I get the... Tr no, I'll just attack here. I mean, getting the trade wouldn't have been bad because I would have been able to exile two things to make it less likely for them to collect evidence. But when I have case of the Gateway Express in hand, it just feels like a bad idea because if they play a large creature, I mean, now I have the opportunity to go automaton into kill a four toughness creature if they play the two RG four four. But it looks like their deck does absolutely nothing. Oh, they have a removal spell. Just kidding. I deserve that. I need to flip this soon-ish. Yeah, let's just kill that. Let's just build our board, get in for damage when we can. We, do we want that? I kind of do because that allows me to go inside source plus case. So that if they play a large monster, I can still kill it next turn. And this acts as a mana sink too, the inside source. So let's say they have a removal spell that does prevent me from flipping this. But that's a Krenko. That's certainly not attacking. That's a Gearbane Orangutan. That's killing my automaton. Okay. They don't have the red mana, fortunately. Okay, well, this is good in the sense that I'm glad we kept the land on top. Then we just play this. Kill Krenko. And we attack with everything. Actually, let's just attack with the auditor. I want to. The thing is, if they if they trade and then he kills another creature, then I can't flip my case of the gateway expresses. So I think I'd rather just only get in with the case file auditor, and then have sudden setback as a way to bounce their biggest creature and then attack. Yeah, like they're just gonna keep this back probably. 
Ideally, they don't play another big creature. Well, okay, so. They, they played another big creature. Okay, well, okay, they played... <laughs> oh. Okay. That's fantastic. So I tap both of these down, and I attack with one, two, three. And they trade with this and this, but then these two become three power creatures. And I solve two cases. So I have a really good shot at fighting the, fl the flying enchantment. So here, here, here. Yeah, and they're certainly going to trade here. If they go to four, and we get to solve two cases. Come on, Auditor. Come on, Auditor. Let's go. Yes. <laughs> the last enchantment. We found it. I mean, this thing is a four or five now. If they kill this, we can just go fail. Oh, oh. Well, they're, they're just dead. Actually, we can just draw the clue. We can do all kinds of stuff. All right. This case doing some work. Just two mana kill a thing, and then later it just gives you more value. I'm in for that. I think that gives us win number five. Okay. That's, that's good. Two more. Two more. Okay, round six. Not round six. This is round eight. I'll keep this hand. It's got a motley crew of creatures, and every time I draw a sudden setback, I feel sad. I keep forgetting to take it out. I don't even know what I would play instead. Here, I'm going to go ahead and play the automaton just to make sure that I can try to find a land. Surveil, bottom. I do like the case, but I like lands more. So we kept a two lander on the draw with the automaton. And we binned something. So if we don't find a land here, I think we're well, well within our rights to loudly complain. But we drew the land, so it's okay. One and a red. Galvanize? Coveted Falcon. Okay. So this card, it's a lot of work to draw one card. It's you know what it is? It's basically a better fairy snoop. That's that's all that card is. I don't think it's very I don't think it's particularly good. But it's cool. There's the galvanize. Every now and then in the late game, I suppose you can draw like a lot of cards. But they do seem to have a nice just blue-red tempo deck, which is a very, very good archetype. Okay. This is how it ends, folks. This, this is how it ends. No lands. No lands for us. Hey, well, it was a good run. Sometimes this will happen. I guess I keep this back. But the flyers are still just getting me here. And I will say this is a format where if you're just on the back foot, it's so hard to recover. <laughs> they paid for the ward. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't have to do that. All right, land. Okay. Let's exile the expensive ones for collecting, for evidence collecting purposes. But at least we can keep these two at. Oh, geez. Okay. Karenko. 
What does it say? Whenever an artifact is put into your graveyard, you may pay red if you do create a 1-1 token. So they can cash this in for a 1-1 goblin token. All right, let's just trade with the sprite. Land? No. Gonna play another tracker. Let's exile these two cards. I could have played the witness. Oh, you can sack an artifact. Oh, wow, this card is awesome. <laughs> this is what happens when you play against rares and you're not too familiar with them. And it makes this artifact bird like way better. Yeah, I'm not beating Krenko. What is this? Incinerator of the Guilty. I mean, it's a six mana red mythic dragon. I'm going to assume I lose, but let's read the card together. When Incinerator of Guilty of the Guilty deals combat damage to a player, you may collect evidence X. When you do, Incinerator of the Guilty deals X damage to each creature and planeswalker that player controls. What's X? How much is X? Oh, right, right, right. Of course. Exile card. Wait, so when this hits me, I die? Nice. All right, we're not beating this. We There is just not a chance in the world, so... But at least I got to see a card I haven't seen yet. I haven't seen this card yet. We've lost to some pretty cool rares. That's all I'm going to say. GG's opponents. And we... Lose to a board of three rares. All good. Look, no pips, but we still hit Diamond 4. We still hit Diamond 4. We've reached a new rank. That's awesome. With a blue-white... It was a blue-white deck that wasn't even really a detective's deck, right? It was just blue-white card, blue-white. Case of the Gateway Express was nice. Novice Inspector, don't ever pass this, basically. This card is just amazing uh, at all times. Didetic Memory was nice. Even, even in, in this deck, which wasn't really especially geared to take full advantage of it, I feel like it's a little better in blue-red. I feel like you generate a little more, few more clues in blue-red and you're drawing a little more cards. It was still fine. We had a couple inspectors and we took that projector inspector to make the eidetic memory work a little bit better. Additionally, you know, we had a decent curve. We had some evasion. Out cold did some work. Sudden setback looked extremely underwhelming. So it's probably not something that I'm going to look to take too highly. And if I'm looking at my sideboard here, is there anything I would have considered? Um, possibly due diligence because I have the case file auditor. Or I could have just gone ahead and maybe played a second copy of Hotshot Investigators, but six mana is a lot, so it's probably not something that I want to do. But still got five wins. Solid blue-white deck. I want to draft like the most insane detective deck that has absolutely everything. I'm hoping that way I have the title ready, just like best detectives deck ever. But this was definitely not one of those, but it was enough to rank us up, get us five wins, and continue us on our journey to rank one. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Feel free to hit the like or subscribe button for more videos just like this. I'll catch you tomorrow.